Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, the dry, warm, if not hot weather continues, but at least we're trending a little bit cooler and a little less humid here for the rest of the week. But in terms of really fall-like weather, none of that in sight to right on through the weekend, though there is some rain in my seven-day forecast. But highs today, upper 80s to lower 90s, including the 92 in Evansville, 90 in Henderson, 91 Owensboro. Will be a few degrees cooler tomorrow, along with a little less humidity. Matter of fact, I think humidity is going to be fairly tolerable here for the rest of of the week. Now, live first warning Doppler is all quiet. No surprise there. We still have only one 100 millimeter rain in the last 22 days at the Evansville uh, Regional Airport. One of the longest stretches we've had in well over 10 years for the month, 1.7 inches below normal. But for the year, thank goodness it was a wet summer and a wet year. We're still 13.5 three inches above the average and today was the ninth day in the 90s putting us over four degrees above the average last september though we were in the 90s 14 of the first 21 days so i don't think it's going to be quite as hot as it was last september as we begin to cool things down a bit uh, looking at the live view from our american rv tower camera out of owensboro and we've got uh, basically uh, you know, partly cloudy skies out there with the temperature right now. Well, there's a live view from downtown Evansville. Just hang on one second here, folks. Going to switch something out here. And as we do, let's uh, go ahead and check the current conditions. And it's at 72 degrees, 62. So the dew point's not bad. Matter of fact, on the comfort meter, you'll notice that we are in that tolerable range. And that is not bad because we were borderline... Uh, for much of the uh, the past several days and it looks like we're going to stay in that tolerable category uh, as we head through the rest of the week though at times it could be borderline humid all right we got the microphone issue fixed there uh, we're going to be probably right on the fence between the tolerable conditions and the humid conditions here uh, over the next few days but uh, lower than it has been certainly for much of the summer temperatures right now falling through the 70s we're at 72 evansville 76 henderson 77 in owensboro and we're going to bottom out somewhere in the low to mid 60s not as warm as last night but still above the average which for this time of the year is in the mid to upper 50s that would certainly feel nice nothing like that in sight though in the next seven days all right tropical storm imelda made landfall on the texas coast earlier today it became a tropical system in the morning but now it's just a tropical depression dumping a lot of rain in the houston area we got some video out of southeast texas before the sun went down this is right on the uh, the gulf coast there. Obviously lots of high surf. That was a bit of a concern along with some very heavy rain and Houston in general doesn't handle heavy rain all that well. And that's where that system is basically going to fall apart here. We're not going to get any rain from it unfortunately here in the tri-state. But let's get back to the maps and that's system number one. System number two is Hurricane Humberto, which is now a Category 3 storm, well-defined eye, moving away from the U.S., but it's going to get very close to Bermuda tomorrow night, so it could cause some significant issues there. And system number three, a tropical depression out in the central Atlantic, is slowly gaining strength, expected to become Tropical Storm Jerry tomorrow, and eventually Hurricane Jerry, as it passes north of Puerto Rico, and the main track takes it north of the Bahamas later in the weekend, moving in the general direction of the southeast coast. We just have to hope it makes a turn like Humberto, and of course Dorian did, uh, and takes a similar track, but way too early to tell if that system is going to be a big problem for the U.S., but we'll be watching that carefully. Not a lot to watch back here in the tri-state. Skies are mainly clear across the area. They'll stay that way overnight through the day tomorrow with high temperatures in the upper 80s to around 90. Tolerable humidity levels, so not a bad day relative to what we've been through. Mainly clear tomorrow night, still on the warm side, mid-60s, and then more of a mix of sun and clouds on Thursday, maybe an isolated shower in the afternoon. Mid to upper 80s, humidity again will be tolerable. Partly cloudy Thursday night, mid to upper 60s for the low. And no big changes on Friday. Mix of sun and clouds. Spotty shower possible will be in the mid, maybe upper 80s. Looks dry for week five of home team Friday. But changes on the way for later in the weekend. So overnight, mainly clear, warm, low to mid 60s tomorrow. 
Mostly sunny, very warm, but not too humid. 85 to 91 for the high. 70 forecast just slowly, ever so slowly, takes the temperatures down. Humidity is off the board, but it will be noticeable humidity, but just not as humid as it has been. 86 Thursday, 83 on Friday. The breeze picks up. Weekend highs. Mid 80s Saturday, fairly confident we're dry through Saturday, but I'm going to make Sunday a weather aware day starting in the afternoon. One of the faster models bringing scattered thunderstorms in in the afternoon. Some of the other models hold it off until late Sunday night, if not Monday morning. So still some uncertainty on the timing there, but hopefully we get a decent shot of rain out of that next front, if not Sunday, then Monday of next week. Okay, looking forward to that. Yes. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Wayne. Well, I